Hey everyone, this is Owen Fox here from owenfox.org and higherselfherbs.com. Welcome to the video. Today I was asked about um, Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's, if I'd rec what would I recommend. So I'm just going to make a quick video of what, what I'd recommend. First of all, I'd recommend, in no particular order, taking coconut oil. It's been shown in clinical studies to be very good for brain and nerve tissue, the grey matter, the 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 fatty coating, the myelin sheets of, of nerve cells. So it's been shown to improve um, brain function, memory and Alzheimer's and possibly Parkinson's. I can't really remember if it's Parkinson's as well, but I'm sure it probably does help. So either way, I take maybe one to two tablespoonfuls of coconut oil per day. Number two, what I take would be, I take turmeric powder. I already take turmeric powder as it is. And as it is every day, I actually make my own homemade coconut milk, which includes, I don't know how much oil is in a coconut, but I take around a, co around a coconut a day, the brown one that I make my own coconut milk with. So I'm getting in my raw coconut oil there into my body too. So number two would be turmeric. I've just ordered and gotten some turmeric um, from the internet, um, organic turmeric. Even if it isn't organic, I've been taking non-organic turmeric. You don't have to be too finicky, in my personal opinion. I've had very good results taking turmeric. Uh, turmeric and coconut oil, but I know turmeric especially, it's very anti-inflammatory. It's full of antioxidants, a deep, rich, orangey colour. It's been shown to be better than like loads of pharmaceutical drugs, like 12 or 15 or something. One-to-one, -one, head-on, clash, test. And turmeric whips ass, and it's natural, no side effects. It's really good for you. A lot of like nutrients in it, like vitamins, minerals, nourishing. So, so take turmeric. It's a no-brainer. It's a super herb, to be honest. It's if I could, I have a wild green superfood uh, blend that I made from wild crap to superfoods, like at my herb shop below. Have a look, higher self herbs. And if I, I was actually thinking lately, like just add one. If I could add two or just one, one or two other ingredients, it'd be my my favorite herb would be chaga extract powder. I'd add. It's chaga is just unbelievable, which isn't the third one I wanted to recommend. But the, the second thing would be turmeric. It's kick ass. It's multifunctional. It's powerful, and that's the reason why I would add ch chaga to my um, superfood blend too. It's just unbelievable. It's my favorite herb. I'll put up a video to Chaga describing all about it here, why it's my favourite herb and why I recommend it as an unbelievable herb. It's so multifunctional and very potent. So I have like I have wild Chaga chunks from Canada at my shop below. Um, if you subscribe, just let you know guys, I wanna like, help you all out, 20% off first time subscribers. And when you subscribe to my mailing list, you'll get regular updates of maybe different special offers or different bonuses from time to time. So highly recommend subscribing and keeping in touch with me. If you have any questions or comments, I might make a video for you too. So anyway, the video's not finished, so I'll continue on. Um, so that would be coconut oil, turmeric, and chaga. So I take around one to two, I take around two to three teaspoonfuls of turmeric a day, just to let you know the dose. Just chaga, I add chaga every day into my um, my blender, my into my coconut milk. I add in like some chaga extract powder. Um, it's and I add in some hoshuu and I add in maca. Woo! I highly recommend maca, but not for Alzheimer's or Parkinson's necessarily. It's great for your hormonal system, yes, and energy and stuff. It's actually maca is one of my favorite herbs to be honest. But for Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, this isn't what I'm recommending. I'm recommending turmeric, coconut oil, shaga. And I'd recommend the fourth, which I actually added to my smoothies as well, daily. Had it today, had it yesterday, so forth. So on is Mukuna. Mukuna is an Ayurvedic herb, also known as velvet bean. It's very, very rich in L-Dopa, which is being shown people with Parkinson's are severely lacking in L-Dopa or, L -dop or dopamine. So some people say actually Parkinson's is a long-term deficiency of L-Dopa. Now L-Dopa gets depleted when we do drugs or in unhealthy or unbalanced or highly stressful like physically um, or otherwise lifestyle, an unhealthy lifestyle, okay? So especially with drugs, we go high and we go low, we go high and we go low, taking too much drugs for too long. That depletes our, L our dopamine. So L Mukun is nature's richest source of L-Dopa. Um, so it'll help, that's the precursor to making L, to making L, to making dopamine. So it'll help Parkinson's immensely, it helps with shakes, Mukuna helps with shakes, shaking, like twitching, nervous system disorders and brain issues. It helps relieve stress, 
depression, anxiety, fear, um, feeling down, unmotivated, no zest for life. So dop um, dopamine and Nukuna will help neurotransmitters in your brain to be boosted, to feel happier, more satisfied, to give up addictions too, because you won't be seeking this like big up and down stimulation of your brain, neurotransmitters, it could be steady, ongoing, healthy, balanced um, array of nutrients and L-dopa so your body can produce dopamine. So I'd highly recommend Makuna first of all, um, coconut oil, turmeric and shaga. Um, shaga is the third, like the least important of those three. But shaga, like, it could be maybe even more important, I don't really know. Maybe I shouldn't even say that. Shaga is like massively multifunctional. As my, it's my favorite herb in the world. It's rich in antioxidants. It's rich in melanin, which is a brain food. It's great for your pineal gland. It's good for your mind and your emotions. It's good for energy. It's protective against radiation, against free radical damage, against acidosis, which can be often also the cause of any degenerative diseases. It helps with blood sugar, diabetes, cholesterol, blood pressure. It's a ridiculously good herb. It helps with a million different things. Um, so it's also nature's, it's also super rich in antioxidants, super duper rich in SOD, which was massively helps um, f to scavenge free radicals and protect our body and our cells and our organs and our brain included. Um, it helps increase energy levels. So overall, that's what I'd go for at the moment. Um, is there anything else? I'd, I'd obviously I'd recommend a raw vegan diet more so like use the power of, of living and raw foods eat less or to eat truly try no to less animal products animals themselves like the meat or fish dairy or eggs they all cause congestion and acidosis it's like a public lie that they're really good for you and who's the ones lying to people selling it to you it's like it's just a joke like look at the modern culture we're all bloody extremely sick all wi all wild animals never get sick because they're eating their food but we're eating like old rotting toxic to hell food it affects our brain it gets in our blood it affects every organ it's we're an unnaturally sick species but the most glowing healthy vibrant people i know of are obviously the people eating raw foods raw veganism or at least raw foods and um, people have just blessed with really good genetics but people who heal from the biggest sicknesses are the people who go on the fruit based fruit and salad diets i did it myself i used to be bloody sick as hell and now i'm getting awesome as hell awesome as heaven so this is what i'd recommend for alzheimer's and parkinson's so brain protective neuron regenerative food another thing you could recommend the fifth one would be lion's mane it's a nerve regenerator so it's also a brain um, protective and genera uh, regenerator too so they are the five you can see the mucuna at my herb shop you can see a green superfood blend which is what i would also recommend or at least do green smoothies i'd recommend green smoothies every day i'd recommend or else or and um, juices if you don't do fresh juices do a green smoothie if you don't do a green smoothie or a juice at least get into herbal powders or superfoods or the wild foods like um, if you look below in my playlists, you can see I have a playlist about like just free food. It's wild food like dandelions, nettle, hor horsetail, clover, cleaver, dock, <laughs> rough hawk bit, um, all sorts of goodies, plantain. Things that really alkalize and nourish your organs and your systems and relieve modern ailments. They really do. They've been used traditionally for like hundreds and thousands of years. So. Um, you want to do the yin and the yang of life, the male and the female, and that is deeply nourish in and deeply cleanse out the waste, toxins and garbage and the stuff that blocks you up and causes acidosis, etc. So get into a more, na do exercise if possible, stretch, circulate your blood and your lymph. So the last thing I want to recommend, guys, is an out factor. Now, I've talked about things to take in and I suggested get out the culprits of modern degeneration, okay, which is the dairy, eggs, cheese and milk and the animal products. So here's what I recommend taking. I recommend taking between four and eight lemons per day. Juice it, take it straight, warm it up if you want, that's what I do. Take it straight and chase it down with a juice, a fresh juice of your choice, it's up to you. Citrus is very cleansing, so you want to get clean your lymphatic system. So you want, you want to look in your pee and you should see stuff like sediment or a snow globe or like salt or like even mucus strands. You want to be able to see all this stuff. You used to twirl it, which I do today because I'm taking more lemons straight. Um, with the orange juice so anyway guys I hope this video helps so um, 
Anyway, I send you lots of love and I'm sorry to hear if you or your loved one has like some sickness or like health problems. But all I want to say is the universe is so balanced that with every problem is automatically created a solution. I hope this video has helped truly deep down from my heart. I want you to get better and well and optimize and your loved ones. And I know what it's like to be sick personally. It's out of action for like bloody 10, 13 years. Limited. Sick. Badly. And I don't like when my loved ones get sick. So and I empathize with you and um, wish you all the best. So don't forget to subscribe, you share, like, favorite the video, befriend me on Facebook. Drop me a comment or if you have any questions as well or queries regarding hair recommendations or, or conditions. And you never know, I could very well make another video for you especially. So, Alright, well that's me out. So take care and all the best. Lots of love. See you now.